Welcome back. We're going to have a quick game of Dogs of War. Don't know how quick it'll be, to be honest. We'll see. Um, depends how quickly I die. It's yeah. It's called Dogs of War. It was by. It was brought to us by Elite um, in 1989 on the Amiga. I played this game a lot. It was a really good game. It's got some fantastic uh, graphics, but also a killer soundtrack. Um, what's more, it had a really good. Um, kind of weapons section and a shop where you could choose which kind of like guns and, and ammo and grenades you could you could buy and use and also it was two player it was co-op so it was really it had so much going for it anyway I'm going to delve back into that game right now so let's see just bear with while I rack this up dogs of war is loading it says dogs of war is loading it's worth the wait if you've not played this before you're in for a, a real surprise so it's by Tim Coop or Coupe and Chris Sorrell. I think he did the music. Might be wrong. And it's just loading still. Do not adjust your watches, people. Oh, I might have to press something perhaps. The, the, the way the music kicks in is amazing as well. Uh. Little bit of a ditty there. Okay. Do you know, I used to just fire games up sometimes and just play them to hear the music, um, which is really sad, but I don't care. There's some great tunes. I think because A, I'm interested in music anyway, and B, I came from a Spectrum background, so to go from a Spectrum to an Amiga game, suddenly it was like, oh my god, this looks and sounds amazing. I think maybe if you came the more traditional route of Commodore 64 to Commodore Amiga, maybe it was just about a little bit of an upgrade. But yeah, to go from Spectrum to Amiga, it was wow. Talk about leveling up. Right, anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna try and get into the game. Get cracking. Look, it says Amiga conversion by Steve Back. I wonder what it's converted from. I don't know that. Oh no, the music was David Whittaker. Yes. So the graphics was Chris Sorrell. Apologies for that. For that error. Right, let's see if we can get in. Right, here we go. Look, one or two player game. Well, sadly, I'm on my own today, so it will be a one player game. I used to play this with my friend a lot when we were growing up two player you, didn't re you really didn't want to let each other down it was like oh extra incentive I think I think you got more baddies though obviously coming down at you because there's two of you like one muffling and the music fades away I'm not gonna do very well at this because um, it's a hard game actually use joystick in port one no I don't want to do that oh now then you can select a mission and I don't know are they all unlocked we have to just try and find out how to move the cursor. Here we go. This is when the real fun begins, isn't it? Uh, if I ah, right, I found the keys. So it's that, 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 and that. Okay, I'm gonna I can get my hands in here. So it's kind of I'm using like on the keypad on the keyboard of four. Four and six left and right, two and eight up and down. It's not going to be particularly easy to play, is it? Um, so let's go to let's go to Lighty. My young son has been kidnapped by a band of ruthless terrorists. I will pay you what's that? Ten thousand pounds, dollars, if you can safeguard his return. It doesn't seem like a lot, really, considering we're putting our life on the line. There's another one we could do. What's this? More terrorists this time. Somewhere here in Europe threatened to assassinate me. Will you save me? How's he getting this message to us exactly? Are the terrorists not able to intercept? Is he? I know, I mean, it's long before WhatsApp and whatnot. We should rebrand WhatsApp and whatnot. Anyway, will you save me by killing their leader? I am prepared to pay you 13,000. Again, not a lot of money. Basically putting our life on the line and having to kill somebody else. If you'll help. Well, okay, let's try and do that. Um, I've accepted it. 
Ah, your weapons play one. This is the bit I was talking about. It's amazing. So, the thing you got to do is you can buy. You got a certain amount. Of, you got, got sixteen thousand five hundred cash. I mean, we could always just not do the mission, not get the thirteen thousand, but not spend sixteen thousand on the weapons doing it. You know, we could still be three thousand five hundred pounds up if we don't do the mission anyway. What I was saying was. Um, you've got different guns, which take, it tells you what, what ammo they take, what ammunition, and you then have to like buy the ammunition, so I don't know what to do really, I mean, should we go for this general purpose machine gun, or that one, both take the same ammo, but about the same range, let's go with that one, then I'm going to buy this. It's going to take the 7.62mm, so one of them, it's the seven, yeah, here's the bullets for it, so gonna get a load of these in. Probably need like some grenades. A pistol might be not a bad idea. Don't want to run out of bullets. Let's get a, a pistol as well then. I mean, ammo nine millimeter. Let's get one of them. Is that it? That's the 9mm. Then, it's hmm, expensive. Um, maybe a few more grenades. What did you get? How many did you get? Just one? No, you get five. Okay. And then we'll get... Well, oh no, I've just accidentally bought an anti-tank weapon. I really didn't mean to do that. Did I really buy that? Takes preloaded 66 millimeter weapon. Is it that one? No. I don't even know what that takes. Oh, it's preloaded, right? It just fires it, right? I get it. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. You might have gathered that. Well, well I do, because I, I did play this a lot when I was younger, but that was like, yeah, about 30 years ago or something. So, no. I'm just going to get a lot of ammo and some more grenades. I've probably, I used to buy this minigun here, it was pretty decent, but I've not gone, gone for that this time. Let's just see how we go. Exit, right, let battle commence. If I can use these keys, it could be well impossible. Yeah, it says, let the mission begin. Are you ready? Are you sitting, are you sitting comfortably? So, there we go. Yeah, look at that little bullet, slowly. Now then, let me just see if I can find out if I can before. How do I change my weapons? Ah, the numbers change. Right. One of those. Yeah, we're in France, just to confirm that. We've got a pistol, the uh, machine gun. Let's go to the machine gun. But the pistol's just going to be if we get really stuck. Got someone. Yeah! Winning so far. Is that a manhole? Thing? Oh, I don't know if I got him in the back quite tricky to... Oh, you can go diagonally, yeah. I don't think you can shoot. Oh, you can shoot diagonally. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing too badly. I'm using the diagonal bullets, but... Ah. I keep hitting five by accident. Um, that also shoots, so I've got more than one shoot button. So far. Ah, I've just shot again by accident. Uh, we're in con cruise control at the moment. I also get ready with the grenades because I have to suddenly deploy a grenade. We just get the... It's four for the grenade. Should we throw one? No, let's not. Let's not mess with the winning formula. We don't need them yet. Doing all right. Slow, yes. But, ah, what's this? There's something firing quite a lot here. Ah, yeah. So I think we have to grenade this thing. Let's get a grenade up there and see what happens. I don't know how you throw grenades. Oh, I think I've managed to deactivate the turret. Brilliant. 
Oh, not another. Right, that is amazing. The problem will be when I'm having to swap some grenades and guns more quickly. Oh, I missed it. Right, that's the turret right now, actually. Oh, it's because I'm a pistol. Oh, I wonder why it wasn't shooting very fast. Oh, not another one. I think I might have to do a diagonal grenade. This could be tricky. Very hard. Oh, I can't seem to get this turret. And I'm wasting all my grenades. Oh no, and I just died trying to do it. Oh no. Oh dear, that was bad. Lost the life. How do we get out of here? Did it. Now then, this is still going to be a problem, isn't it? Oh no, I died again. What did I do? I've got my... I've got a pistol on him. Losing it. Losing it. This turret's lurking me. Got it. Right, back to the machine gun. Can't get anywhere with a pistol at the moment. I will just, you know, add the disclaimer once again that I'm using some odd keys here. It's not, not familiar or intuitive setup. Oh. Slow. That's what I'm doing. Oh, I love the sound of the bullets on that sheet. That was beautiful. Starting to get a bit busier now. I've got one life. Could all be over soon. Now, you do get to visit the shop, remember right, in between missions. I don't think you go mid-mission. Might be wrong. Look at this nice paving. Oh, I thought I might have lost it there to get a bit fran frantic. Oh, just stopping to boogie and that nearly caused me a life. We were now strolling left. That was a bit of a surprise. Oh, grenade thrower. Take that. Do people come out of these manholes? I can't remember. Doing too bad. Did you see that? I died. I was starting to worry about whatever was like some sort of like flame throwing thing. I wasn't really. Oh, check out that music. That's smooth. Kind of makes dying not so bad after all when you get a, like a tune to listen to like that. Angie did pretty well, and Kathy, Dot, Chrissy, Bloke, Chris Sorrel, I don't know. Steve, Phil, Chris, Tim gets the top spot, of course. He's the he's the big dog, the top dog. I didn't even feature on the board. Thought I was doing alright though. I didn't do too bad, did I? Anyway, I think I need might need to go have a bit of a lie down now. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.